Hi Libra, welcome to your love reading. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind this is a general reading. This may or may not resonate with the Libra watching this video. Time is fluid, guys. You could have dealt with this energy or will be dealing with in the near future. Um, some of the energies of the past can be flipped, so feel free to switch the energies and vice versa. Um, and of course, if you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down below. Alright, overall energy, bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups. I think this is someone who is fearing rejection or someone who is just very dissatisfied within the relationship, okay? This is the feeling of uh, being very complacent, uh, a feeling of um, there could be someone who's emotionally breadcrumbing you and you're not getting the entire package, okay? You want more and I don't think you're getting enough. But overall, I'm seeing a lot of dissatisfaction within a situation, okay? Maybe there is something that you need more to keep you happy, but you're not happy with what is being offered to you. It could also be someone who's staying very, very aloof right now, okay, someone where things are just stuck and stagnant, and um, you're in this entire mode of, um, again, like being aloof and staying away, okay, isolation. But this is a very low vibrational energy, okay, where you're almost focusing on what is lost or focusing on what you can't have rather than focusing on what you can have, okay. In the current situation, we have the Five of Swords in reverse. So uh, this is telling me that there could have been someone that you had a nasty fight with. Could be a conflict, could be an argument, whatever. But I feel that things are getting better. And I think you're walking away from a situation that doesn't make you happy. You're walking away from um, mind games, okay? This is no lies, no games, no deceit. You just want a peaceful resolution. Or it's more like I'm getting, you know what, I've had it. Enough is enough and I cannot do this anymore. And I feel that someone who's walking away because um, either they don't want to fight this anymore and they're walking away or there's just someone here who wants a peaceful resolution, okay? Like, let's cut the games, let's cut the drama. Your image challenge or what is influencing the situation is the magician in reverse, okay? So you could be dealing with someone who's constantly, um, who's very, very extremely manipulative, okay? This is someone who has the gift of gab. They could be telling all the right things and you just wouldn't know that this person is wearing a false mask, okay? But with the magician in reverse, yes, it could also mean where uh, you're feeling powerless over a situation or you feel you have no control over the situation. You feel you just can't make something happen, okay? That's a lot of self-doubt at the same time, okay? Maybe that is one of the reasons why you're walking away also because you could you, you need to stand up for yourself, okay? You need to uh, look out for yourself, but you're not doing that. Why? Because you feel you can't make the situation right. That could also be one of the situations, all right? What happened in the past is the Knight of Cups, okay? So you could have had a love offer that came in. Someone could have opened up their heart to you. They could have expressed their emotions. Or this is just someone who is wanting to be vulnerable and they came in towards you, okay, with a love offer. What's on your mind is the high priestess, okay? So I feel that your intuition is on point. You're trusting your intuition. But however, I think that there could be a silent treatment going on between you and this person. Or it's just that your intuition is on point and you're choosing to keep quiet and watch. Watch things play out rather than going out there and trying to find answers is what I'm getting, okay? And maybe that's the way your way of dealing with the situation is just like walking away and I'm just going to let uh, the universe take its course, okay? And I'm just going to let things unfold on their own because uh, there's a lot of dissatisfaction, like I said, right, with the Four of Cups. There's something that you're wanting and you're not getting, okay? So it's almost like you're almost getting there, but then you don't get the entire package, okay? And that's something that's making you very very angry and now it's like you're losing all hope you don't feel that your manifestations are ever going to come into reality you're giving up this is a sign of weakness okay you don't have that willpower within you to make it happen and that's why you're walking away because probably you feel this person is playing mind games with you okay and now on your mind you're just wanting to trust your intuition trusting your gut okay the reason for the reading is the Knight of Pentacles, okay? So yeah, there could be someone that you're dealing with who's wanting to be single and you're probably someone who wants to be in a relationship, okay? But this is the entire reason for the reading. It could also be that the reason for the reading with the Knight of Pentacles is that, you know what, you're feeling very secure and confident within yourself. You um, you realize your self-worth, you realize your value, you realize that you deserve much better, okay? And I think you're in your power now and you're choosing to keep quiet again and let this person realize or let the universe take its course okay that's what that's what's happening because you're done with the emotional breadcrumbing that this person has been giving you for a very long time 
So yeah, you're choosing to walk away and I don't think that you want it to even manifest this anymore because you're giving up. You're like, you know what, I cannot do this anymore. If it has to happen, it will happen. So I feel it's almost like you're leaving the situation to the universe. And then your future with the Three of Pentacles, I feel that, um, yes, it can mean that this is uh, two people, uh, people trying to come together. Three of Pentacles is again a third party situation. However, I don't see so much of that here. But Three of Pentacles is also something where I feel that you're building towards yourself. You're building on yourself. You're building, you're going towards yourself, your career, your goal, your money, your pentacles, etc. Okay. The Three of Pentacles, yes, this is a teamwork collaboration. But at the same time, I'm getting more like, you know what, you're wanting to focus on yourself. Okay. Because with the Nine of Pentacles, you're, you're wanting to live the best life. Okay. And you realize what your worth is. So it's like I'm going to invest in myself and I'm just going to keep my trap shut and let things unfold on its own. See, with the hermit here, I feel that, you know, you're wanting to isolate yourself. The hermit and the high priestess, okay? These are two cards where one person's almost keeping quiet and the other person's isolated. So it's almost similar, okay? Could be that you're giving this person the silent treatment and this person has ghosted you. But however, we'll see how this plays out. In your environment, we have the justice. So there's someone here who wants to give justice to this situation, okay? Someone wants to make a bad situation good. They want to rectify a situation. Maybe this person realized that in the past that they didn't really uh, come correct towards you and they feel that, you know what, things were unfair and unbalanced between you guys and now they want to come in with justice, okay? They want to be fair to you. They want to give you what you deserve. And this happens because you've isolated yourself. You're giving them silent treatment, okay? And you're working towards yourself. And now this person wants to come in and work with you. This is more like the Three of Pentacles is let's build, let's talk, okay? Teamwork, collaboration. Someone trying to put in the effort to make something concrete, okay? To build something. This is commitment. This is effort. This is uh, putting in the hard work, investment of every sort, okay? So I think after you're walking away, and you're giving up on the situation, you realize your worth and um, now you're trusting your intuition and guess what, your intuition is on point, they're coming in. And this happens after you isolated yourself. See, because with the three of wands in reverse, you're right, in your emotions, you're turning your back to the situation. Because again, I'm getting, you could have waited and waited and waited for this person to come in correct, but this person just wasn't ready to make the move, okay? So you could be dealing with, again, with the magician in reverse, you could be dealing with someone who constantly plays you, okay? Someone who does things intentionally, okay? It's a very self-serving energy, okay? So this person could have tried to manipulate you a number of times, okay? And you probably still had that faith that things will work out. But then you realize that there was just this was just mind games and you were dealing with a huge manipulator and you were just walking away. Because on your mind, on your emotions, you're turning your back to the situation, okay? You no longer want to give in to the situation anymore. You feel your ships are just not coming in. And um, yeah, like I said, you're turning your back towards the situation. But the likely outcome with a start in reverse, okay? There's someone here, could be you, could be them, okay? There's a lack of patience here, I feel. There's a lack of balance here. But the start in reverse, I feel that ultimately you're going to lose hope in this situation and lose faith that things are ever going to happen correct. Let me clarify this. Why is the start in reverse with the likely outcome? Why is the star in reverse? See, because you feel you're dealing with a player. This is someone who comes in and out of your life, okay? The knight of wands is someone who likes to live in the moment. They don't like to be tied down, okay? So you're the knight of wands and you're dealing with and you're the knight of you're the knight nine of pentacles and you're dealing with the nine of wands the knight of wands is an energy where um sorry it's an energy where you know it's in and out okay this person one second they're very passionate about you the second minute they're not or this could just be someone you know who comes into your life they take what they want and they leave okay and that's why you feel this is all mind games okay Again, the magician in reverse, very self-serving energy. Someone who comes, they get what they want. They say the right things. They say all the right things, the right expressions, the right emotions. And you just get into the trap, okay? And now you're fed up of it and you're walking away and isolating yourself. But now that you've walked away, this person wants to come in and they want to work with you. They want to build with you, all right? But in your emotions, you've already given up, given up on this connection again because you're dealing with a player. You're dealing with someone who doesn't want to be tied down to, okay? Now, there's a very big energetic difference, okay? With the Nine of Pentacles, with the Knight of Wands. More than anything, I feel with the 
Knight of Cups, this person could have come in and expressed their emotions to you, okay? But again, you have, you're dealing with two knights here, with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands. The knights are travelers, except the Knight of Pentacles, okay, who stays. These other knights, every knight except that, are travelers. They come in and they go. They come in and they go. Okay, they're in and out, in and out, in and out. Which again gives the other person a lot of mixed signals. Okay, and that's exactly what you're getting with the Four of Cups. What is this? Um, what is this justice? Yeah, but they're holding back. And that's what, that's exactly what your issue is. That's why things are not moving forward with the chariot in reverse here. You feel things are just not moving forward. Things have come to a complete halt. This person who's in your environment who you're dealing with, right? They want to give, bring in justice to the situation, but they're holding back. For some reason, they're holding back. It's almost like they're in no rush, okay? Why is the Knight of Swords in reverse here? This person is holding back. That's why there's a lack of forward movement here. And that's why you're ultimately, you know, turning your back to the situation because you're waiting and waiting and waiting. But it is in their intentions, but it's just that they're not taking that action. Okay, so what's the point? Again, even if this, when this person comes in, right, they're going to rush in because, you know, like they feel that energetic pull from you, okay, where you've just completely withdrawn your energies. So they want to come in. Why is the Knight of Swords in reverse? Why is the Knight of Swords in reverse? Give me one card. Why is the Knight of Swords in reverse? Because they love you. Because with the Queen of Cups here, okay, this is someone who loves you or this is how they look at you. They look at you as someone who's very psychic, someone whose intuition is on point or they look at you as someone who's very giving, very nurturing, okay. The Queen of Cups is a giver. She's um, very, very, uh, she's always got unconditional love, all right. She's very nurturing. She's always out there for you. She just gives and gives and gives and gives and doesn't expect, okay. And ultimately, that's one of the reasons why she's always hurt, okay. And, um... You know what the problem is here with the emperor in reverse here okay you could be dealing with someone again who's very fearful of commitment okay i'm also getting that someone who's very afraid of giving you the entire package they want to work with you right they want to build with you yes but at the same time they want to bring it just it's like you know they realize every single thing that they're doing they know what they need to do right but they're still holding back and they're holding back because they see that I feel that this is someone who's not been able to match your energies, okay? The kind of love that you have for this person. Maybe you're the Queen of Cups and you're dealing with the Knight of Cups here, okay? Again, there's that energetic difference, okay? This person comes in and, in and out of your life, okay? But you're the one who's always there. You're stable there. That's why you land up getting hurt. That's why you feel this person is playing mind games with you. But now... I think you realize your worth and your value, okay? And that's why you're ghosting them. You're, you're kind of isolating yourself, doing a lot of contemplation about what's exactly going on. Why is the Four of Cups as the overall energy? See? Now you're shut off because you feel every single time you get with this person, it's a false start with the Ace of Wands in reverse. You're not feeling the connection anymore, okay? It's almost like it's, it's like every single time you guys are together, it's almost like fun without commitment or it's just very, very passionate and things just get nowhere, okay? And every single time you think things are just going to lift off and it's going to get to that commitment phase or it's going to get to a high level of commitment, whatever have you, but you're disappointed. There's a lot of disappointment and now this time, if, even if this person comes back, right, you have huge trust issues with this person. Now you're shutting off. You're shutting off. We have the king and the queen here, okay? That's a divine couple. But, um, yeah, now you're shutting off because you have trust issues. Because you feel you've given this person a lot of chances, okay, again and again and again. And this person is just not making that move. And you're losing patience with this person. That's why you're just choosing to keep quiet and isolate yourself and try and find the answers from within, okay? You're trying to do a lot of soul searching while this person is holding back because I think the Queen of Cups, right? This kind of energy scares them. I think this scares them, okay? They're trying to match up to your energies. They want to work with you. If this is not them working with you, then at least you're focusing on your... I just want to check this. What is the Three of Pentacles? Yeah, see, with the moon in reverse, this person wants to release the fear. They want to release fear, release stress and anxiety, okay? But I think this person could have had a lot of fear of the unknown. This person could have always wanted to know what happens next. Or they would always want to know, like, where something exactly goes, okay? 
but now they're releasing that and they're ready to work with you they're ready to collaborate with you they're ready to do this team work with you but i think when this person comes in you're kind of shut off because you're done with their games you're done with them because you're just not happy with what is being offered to you you have too much to offer and they have they don't have enough or they are not being able to give you the same amount of love that you're looking for so that's what the issue is here that's what i have for you libra so i hope this reading resonates with you leave your comments below like share subscribe and i'll see you next time Bye -bye.